Is there truth to the legends of witchcraft and black magic throughout history? This question, often dismissed as a subject of fantasy, was once profoundly explored in a philosophical dissertation known as Demonology. During the late 16th century, belief in witchcraft and black magic was not a fringe phenomenon, but a widespread reality. Across the social strata, from commoners to royalty, these subjects were both feared and fascinating. Rumours of witches casting spells, curses and manipulating the natural world were not only common but also terrifying. This fear and fascination set the stage for the publication of a seminal work on the subject, Demonology, which explored these dark arts in depth. In the late 16th century, no less a figure than King James VI of Scotland, who later became James I of England, penned this intriguing work. Published in 1597, Demonologie explores necromancy, divination, and the historical relationships between various methods of black magic. This royal author didn't merely dabble in the topic, but endorsed witch hunting, a stance that would have far-reaching consequences. King James himself was deeply interested in the supernatural, a fascination that extended to the existence of witches and demons. He was wholly convinced of their reality, a belief that was rooted in his experience and understanding of the world. His personal beliefs played a significant role in the creation of demonology. This royal endorsement of witch hunting was instrumental in shaping the public's perception of witchcraft and influenced the subsequent witch trials. The narrative of demonology unfolds in the form of a dialogue, divided into three books. The conversation between two characters seeks to prove the existence of witchcraft through biblical teachings. It provides a classification of demons based on their methods, weaving a tangled web of supernatural law. The North Berwick witch trials had a profound impact on society. They were not just a series of trials, but an event that sent ripples of fear and paranoia throughout the nation. The trials served as a catalyst, amplifying the dread of witchcraft that had been simmering beneath the surface of society. This rampant fear and hysteria further promoted the beliefs outlined in demonology pushing the narrative of witchcraft from the fringes to the forefront of social consciousness. The trials were not just a reflection of the beliefs held by King James and the society at large, but also a driving force that shaped and magnified them. But what inspired this king to write such a book? The answer lies in a series of events that would come to be known as the North Berwick Witch Trials. These trials saw the persecution of many individuals accused of witchcraft, with King James himself taking a personal interest in the proceedings. The trials were so influential that they found their way into the pages of Demonologie, immortalized in a news pamphlet included within the book. And so, the publication of Demonologie and the following trials served as a reminder of the complexities of human beliefs and the extent to which they can be influenced by myth and legend. During a period of history, the publication of Demonology and the North Berwick Witch Trials left an indelible mark. These events were a fascinating chapter in the history of humanity, where the boundaries between superstition and reality became blurred. King James's endorsement of witch hunting and his exploration of black magic through his book played a significant role in shaping societal attitudes towards witchcraft during his reign. Not surprisingly, the influence of demonology extended into the arts. It is believed to have inspired elements of William Shakespeare's iconic play Macbeth, further embedding the themes of witchcraft and black magic into the cultural landscape of Europe and beyond. During the historical period when demonology was published and the North Berwick witch trials took place, the topic of witchcraft and black magic was a subject of immense interest and discourse. It was a time when people were trying to understand and make sense of these mysterious and often terrifying phenomena. The publication of Demonology and the events that transpired during the North Berwick Witch Trials marked a significant moment in history when the lines between the supernatural and the natural were blurred and people's beliefs and fears took center stage. All because a king used his pen to explore these themes, his words sparking witch hunts and influencing one of the greatest playwrights of all time. The current period serves as a poignant reminder of the immense power of belief and the often indistinguishable line between superstition and reality. 
in times of uncertainty and crisis, people tend to turn to their beliefs and superstitions for comfort and reassurance. While some may find solace in their faith, others might resort to practices that have no rational basis or scientific evidence to support them. However, what's interesting is that even the most rational and scientific minds can fall prey to superstitions during times of distress and uncertainty. This highlights the complex and multifaceted nature of human psychology and the impact that beliefs and superstitions can have on our thoughts and actions.